Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about two concepts mimicry and camouflage. So this mimicry and camouflage, these are two kind of defense mechanism developed by some species. Okay, now let us discuss about it. Mimicry is the ability of an organism that develops to imitate one or more traits from another organism. So mimicry simply means an organism will imitate the appearance of another organism. Right? And that is called as mimicry. That means one organism will look like an another organism. Okay. So thereby, by imitating the appearance of another organism, second organism will get some benefits. Okay. With an example, I will explain mimicry. Right. So here in this picture, you can see two types of butterflies. One is viceroy butterfly and second is monarch butterfly. So you can see that both are having some similar appearance. Some similar colors are there, color patterns and all the patterns, black and white patterns are there. Right lines all are somewhat similar right but these are two species viceroy butterfly and monarch butterfly these are two species okay so they look like same but this monarch butterfly is having it's a poisonous butterfly monarch butterfly is poisonous butterfly but viceroy is not okay so thereby the viceroy butterfly have adopted an appearance which are similar to the monarch butterfly Right. And that is called as mimicry. So, by adopting the appearance of monarch butterfly, viceroy butterfly will get a benefit. benefit. Why? Because monarch butterfly is poisonous. That because of that, the predators won't eat the viceroy butterfly. Because they will mistake viceroy butterfly for the monarch butterfly. Right. Thereby, viceroy butterfly will get benefit. Right. So, viceroy butterfly looking like a monarch butterfly is called as a mimicry. Right, so it adopted viceroy butterfly, adopted the monarch butterfly. Right, so monarch butterfly was having some poisonous character. Thereby, the predators won't feed on or won't eat the viceroy butterfly, taking it for the monarch butterfly. In the same way, you can see two snakes here: eastern coral snake and scarlet king snake. So eastern coral snake is venomous, and the scarlet king snake is non-venomous. But the scarlet king snake is having some same appearance of the eastern coral snake thereby scarlet king snake is benefiting so ultimately we can say that a mimicry is when a harmless creature makes uh, itself look a dangerous one right here monarch was having poisonous it is it is somewhat dangerous to some others right so a harmless creature that means viceroy butterfly or scarlet king snake harmless creature makes itself look like a dangerous one that means monarch butterfly or uh, eastern coral snake Okay, so a harmless creature make itself look like a dangerous one is called as mimicry. So by mimicking this appearance, it will look like more dangerous. Thereby, other animals will be afraid to eat them. So that is what we call as mimicry. Now coming to the camouflage. Camouflage means, which is the ability of an organism to copy some environmental traits or develop a disruptive coloration that allows it to hide from predators. Okay, so in camouflage, what is happening is, an organism will adopt the color of the background. Okay. So, and that organism will hide in the background. In the case of mimicry, the animal was not hiding. In the case of mimicry, an organism was imitating the appearance of another organism. Right. But in the case of camouflage, uh, an organism will adopt the color of or appearance of the uh, color of the background and the organism will hide in the background so hiding is happening in the camouflage okay so you might have heard about the uh, color changing of the chameleon right so that's an example of uh, camouflage so if an animal matches to its background it is harder or it is difficult to see right it is difficult to find right so that is used by the camouflage animals okay so here you can see two example of camouflage one is an owl right an owl which is standing inside a hole of a tree. Okay, so here you can see an owl, right? You can see an eye there, right? So, this owl is having a color of the tree, which is the background of that owl, right? So, that is a camouflage. So, owl is having a similar color of that of the tree, thereby owl is standing there in the tree, thereby no one can uh, easily find out the owl. Right. Now there is a second feature there and you can see a lizard there. Right. You can see that background is having the same color of that lizard. So since it is having the same color of the soil or that background, it is harder to find out the lizard. Right. So these two organisms, owl and the lizard, 
is just matching to the background okay so that is called as camouflage so camouflage is an animal trying to blend in with its surroundings okay so an animal is trying to blend in with the surroundings by adopt by having the same color like that okay so mimicry is when an animal looks like something else that is meant to be seen okay and the animal is not protected by hiding in the case of camouflage the animal was protected by hiding but mimicry is not protected by hiding it is protected by being mistaken for something a predator will avoid because it's dangerous or taste bad okay so for example the harmless moth might look like a dangerous wasp that's also an example of the mimicry right so unlike the camouflage the mimetic animals go further and try to imitate not only the morphological traits but also the physiological and the behavioral looking for a response from the other animals right so mimetic animals are not only imitating the morphological traits it's also adopting the behavioral and physiological characters okay so we can say that mimicry it is an incredible evolutionary engine right because it is happening by time an animal is trying to adapt to the another animal so it's a part of the evolutionary process right so uh, we can say that mimicry as an incredible evolutionary engine okay so why because the mimetic animals are in constant selective pressure to look more like their models in order to go unnoticed and to improve their survival but at the same time imitated organisms are also under selection to sharp their ability to discern between model and imitators okay so these two points you have to remember so these two points are somewhat related to evolutionary process okay and one more point i have to say is don't think that the mimetic animals in mimicry don't think that the animal at that moment they are copying the other organism okay it is not like that throughout the life period the mimetic animal will be having the same appearance of the other animal okay so don't think that on the time of need the animal is imitating the other animal it is not like that okay so throughout the life cycle throughout its life span right the anim mimetic animals will be having the same appearance of that of the model animal that's why we are saying that it is a part of the evolutionary process okay now let's move on to the model question first statement camouflage is the ability of an organism to copy some environmental traits or develop a disruptive coloration that allows it to hide from predators okay so that's a correct statement right we said that camouflage was using the hiding right it will adapt to the it, it will try to blend in the background and thereby it is hiding right so first statement is correct then second statement mimicry is the ability of an organism developed to imitate one or more traits from another organism right so second is also correct so answer is c both one and 